against Angry Titans if they want that hope, like you say, of getting that second spot. It would be nice. You'd set off a third. Don't think it'd be necessarily the end of the world for them. But again, mm -hmm. the higher you are, the lower seeding you face from the other side of the group and potentially the easier matchup you have in that first round of playoffs. Not even like guessing what the difference is here, right? So with British Hurricane, get 4 0 here. Mm -hmm. Worst case scenario for them, they finish in fourth place. They have to go against Morning Stars. Yikes. It's a yikes for me as well, dog, right? They get into that second place by 4 0 ing Angry Titans. Well, they're up against Team Windstrike instead, right? Mm, okay. It's a bit of a. Uh, and know, third, what happens there? How do they get third? How do they get third? I have to go and I'm reliant on these maps. Oh, God damn it, man. Got to bring uh, a laptop in, put that code out that I'll write for you, and everything will be fine. Yeah, well, maybe you can do that in the offseason. I don't know. But British Hurricane changing it up already. Seeing what they're going with, they did toy us, toy with us, potentially giving us the happy cool Farah, but they're going to go back to the traditional goats and match out Angry Titans, who Angry Titans were a bit late for the change-ups now. They're going to concede over first cap, so it shows a real discipline here to not engage in what could be a lost fight just based off a comp. It's a game of chess before anyone's even moved a piece, basically. They're both looking at each other and going, mm, well, they're running that, we need to run this. Oh, quick, they've changed that, we've got to go and change to this, and well... Hurricane are the ones who won the mind game. They get the first cap, so the whole of this first fight, they have hold of the point. They're throwing that percentage charge, but Numlox has already been melted down by Angry Titans. Lolsish walking forward, swinging that hammer, and he's going to lose his life as well, but Hurricane have already lost two. Make that a mech as well. Woo! Whip coming in very early for Angry Titans. Absolutely is. Good push forward from Angry Titans. The surge into the back line, or more like the front line of British Hurricane, did see those tanks get melted there down. There is no back and front line with goats. They're just they just They merge into one. Become one with your teammates and crush the team as a death. Ball. That's what we're looking at. But Hurricane, either way, they've got themselves 29% on the clock. It's not going to be the worst situation for them. Erky practicing his Brigitte's mechanics, holding left click. <laughs> Sony Brigitte's would literally just stand there with left click like this and not even hit anyone yet. But they're just like, ooh, left click, left click, left click, left click. Well, if he misses the rocket flail, that is kind of missing a mechanical skill shot, shall we say. <laughs> but Erky, he's got his rally online now. I'm going to pop that, pop up the rest of his team, going down low himself, but they're still pressing against Hurricane. They're able to take out Danid and Numlock so already. That's going to be a number one fight for Angry Titans. There's Yopi and going to join him in the squad room, and I'm pretty sure Happy and the others are going to join them. But now they can get the stagger onto Happy. There is an environmental. We'll jump in front of the train. It's all good. Oh, and good guy Luddy to deny that from happening as soon as he wants. But Happy still being stunned out. And there, a case of tinnitus to go back with him to the spawn room. They'll slow them down a little bit more. Gets that extra 10, 15% on the clock for Angry Titans, which can stack up to being worth a whole fight. So it is always worth doing. I did notice in that first fight, though, Hurricane were kind of spreading a concave around the point itself. Whereas when you look at Angry Titans, they all literally got together as a ball and charged at Numlock. They had that focus there, which is what helps. And now they've got this combo coming out. Self-destruct sitting on top of Bucket in the Transcendence. Odd position to find, but it is going to cover a lot of the damage, because it which won't go through the invulnerable target. Nesh, about to get a Graviton in his own to counter and go up against Angry Titans on their attack. 75% for Angry Titans, so we're looking towards finishing this one off. Now, I'm not got the Shatter in hand, going for the charge instead. Misses Lolshish, unfortunately, but will stay up. Now he's shattered and a lot of British Hurricane on the floor. That's disastrous when it's this close to the end. I don't think they've got another fight in the tank from Dez. It's looking like round one's going over to the Titans. And how close they were. Lulsish and Numlox used the Earth Shadow. Basically at the same time, Lulsish a microsecond in front because his came down, interrupted the Shadow out of Numlox, and they got the win off that alone. Really, really close to in terms of how that fight could have played out. But unfortunately for British Hurricane, Angry Titans are the first ones off the bat. What you're saying is there are milliseconds in it at the moment, Des. Kind of. I mean, if you take away the 30% that Hurricane caught off the back of Titans being forced to go back to spawn and change a fox from the Moira onto the Zen, well, that was basically 100 to 0 round. They lost the first fight when it came to actually contesting the point itself. It's only because the Titans weren't there. So for Hurricane in this round, now's a good time, I think, to maybe go with what you were looking at. Stick Happy Call on that far. We saw him play it last season. Despite being an off tank, he did play it quite a lot and played it quite well, especially on Eichenwald. I'd like to see him play it here where you've got a lot of environmental features to stay safe behind. There's lots of vertical movement in and around those different poles and stuff and whatever you want to call them. I'm quite sure I know the name of what that Killers. centerpiece is. I guess pillars, but what's the main kind of overhanging bits of wood called? Archways? Awnings? Uh, maybe awnings. They're kind of outside. I honestly don't know what you're referring to here, Des. So over we're going to get back the into the itself. game itself. Looking at the composition. Not there. Going to be mirrored. Just, it's a roof, right? Is it? Just move it's on. Open. Move on to the game. <laughs>
We're going to have goats v goats coming into this one. So none of this finicky spawn switching. Positional control on top of that drum already being given over. Happy Cool having to back off because he just had Ellie though flying at him, knocking him off there. Nesh picking up first blood onto Lolsish though, missing that tank. Happy Cool's been DMX and Ellie going to take that high ground. There's no one to contest him. It's going to rain these rockets down from above as only God finds a DMX and two. And Ellie Wick blows up onto Happy Cool knowing he hasn't got a mech, but now he's isolated for Nesh to take out. We'll get DMX himself, but this is a one fight for Angry Titans. Quite decisively as well, always seeing that kill feed go green when Angry Titans are on the offensive. And Hurricane, well, he called it himself. Half he got DMEC pretty early on, and that he couldn't contest that high ground away from Ellie Boat, and he became the, the all seeing eye on top of the drum, you might want to call him. He had full vision of the battlefield, he knew who he needed to charge onto and when. Well, he made sure he held it, melted Happy Cool down in time to make sure that he had no chance of getting back in mech, and they won just by having the bigger bodies in the fight. They put that grab into the pillar, pull the rest of Hurricane into him and collapse around. That's Yofi being isolated. Aphox, the one to take him out. Only God to take him out down as well. So this is all looking good for Angry Titans. The Earth Shatter being dropped. Enables Only God to go down, but no one else. Angry Titans so good at recovering from the ultimates from British Hurricane. And they've even got the stagger on Happy Call as well. So my biggest complaint there, I suppose, was something actually that Leg Day touched on in the last series. When we saw with Reinhardt, for example, they all, even that, I think last time around, it was actually two ultimates, not one. They burnt both the Graviton Surge and the Self Destruct when their main tank was gone. They lost the tank really early on in that fight for British Hurricane, and they still chose to go for the play, went for the Shatter, did get the knockdown, but just didn't have enough follow-up members to actually close that fight out, and they got punished for it. That now means they're relying on the Earth Shatter coming back online once Dunlock actually gets into a fight, but they do have support ultimates to play with. They've got the big combo again in that Graviton Surge and Self-Destruct. This is their chance to win the point back, but they're playing against five ultimates for Angry Titans. There's the first grab coming out from Nash. They drop that Self-Destruct. Happy Call leaving it behind them. Everyone's going to stay alive, though. Good use of the abilities for Angry Titans to stay up there. Positional control being given over from Angry Titans to British Hurricane, but without a man advantage, they're not going to be able to get a full count just yet. Sound barrier being deployed. Nash taking out Lol Sish, so I don't think that Earth Shadow connected. Nope. He killed before it landed, so nice play by Nash there to take him out. Eddie Vett going on top of the drum will lose his mech because they're sending Yofi up there to get him off. There's the D-mech finally. Need to get him off while this is happening. 95% in climbing for Angry Titans. They're getting exactly what they want. They know it's a lost fight, but they're pushing out every single percentage. Gets the 99. They just need to win one fight. We said that was the fight they had to go in on. They burnt all five ultimates, but got nearly all of them back online as well. The only thing really kind of lacking behind here is Yofi on that sound barrier. It is one of the slower charging ones, but Numlox has got that Earth Shatter. That's maybe they're going on this one, but only God's got hold of the Graviton Surge as well. If he can catch them on the wall here or stick into a pillar, then the rest of the team can follow in and just swing away. And they should be able to bring down some members of Hurricane, although the Transcendence has just come online. That's the big one for Hurricane that will protect them against that combo. Doc Bot with his medicinal AoE ready to go online for British Hurricane. There you go, there's that grab, and immediately the Transcendence comes in. Not going to get anything from that just yet. There's the Rally Self Destruct. Transcendence coming from British Hurricane as well. Going to break target. the shield of Lolsish and get a D mech on Ellie Boat, the block is going to follow up with some kills. So British Hurricane not going to lose this first instance of defense that they've been provided. Well, Angry Titans do manage to force the trans out of bucket, but he will get that back pretty quick, mind you. Again, when you're the aggressing team and you're chasing members down as they run away, you will build ult charge a lot faster than they will as they're fleeing from you. And you have, of course, more opportunities to lay damage down onto those fleeing members. Angry Titans have got an ultimate advantage this time round. I'm looking at Yofi with that sound barrier and saying, well, when that comes online, that could be their big blocker in a sense. But look at this Danid. Lurking around, waiting to see who comes over. He's been caught out a bit. It could be actually dire for them. They've a protective barrier. I don't know why Denon was playing so aggressively. His team wasn't fast it's to react to whatever they were looking for there, and it's going to cost them dearly. Damn it. Being picked off, this could be the retake for Angry Titans if they can commit the fight. Rockets lost his life as well. Nesh is about to go down, and this is Angry Titans. They're going to be getting the flip here, and at British Hurricane. It's such a staggered out fight. I don't think they can contest it back. This is going to be the map going over to Angry Titans. Into touch there. Yep. And even then, there would be ultimates online if they did need them. But the overtime is ticking in. They do get one touch on. It's Danny on that good old Doomfist, what he's so well known for. But there's no one to touch the point by the looks of it. Angry Titans relatively decisively, except for that second round, take the first map. Grab coming out there against the Rock. Didn't use it in the Why fight. Why not? <laughs> May as well burn the ult. Not with exactly. any other use for it once the round's over and the map's over. So, Angry Titans. Putting their best foot forward, taking that first map. We still got three more maps to come, Des, and it's the final series of the group regular season and actually the year mm. for Overwatch Contenders Europe. So there's still a lot more action to come. Expectations going forward, Des. 
Well, from how it's stuck out so far, Mangry Titans, again, showing why we consider them one of the best tank teams here in Europe. And Hurricane at points, again, just a couple of things like Danny there in that final mm. fight, mm, didn't really need to be there when you could hold point, I felt. And at times, especially on the first map, getting themselves a bit split, I mentioned that kind of concave when they were actually on point itself and got focused by Angry Titans. It's got to play a bit more cohesively, a bit more tight together. But as we always say, control is the more scrappy of the four maps we tend to see. Consider it a warm-up. Well, warm-up successfully had. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to get into the meat and veg of it. Hey, welcome back to Overwatch Contenders. We're about to jump in to the second map of our final series. Very dominant performance so far from Angry Titans who are leading against British Hurricane. It does take the wind out of the sails to know that both these teams are guaranteed top floor. That was locked up based off the uh, back of last series. Mm -hmm. There is still positions online. I don't believe British Hurricane can now take second place from Angry Titans having lost a map. But I believe there's some instances where they can take third and we'll be checking on that as we go through the series. But first of all, they won't even challenge that. We're going to need to take Hollywood away from them. Hollywood first to start things off. An opportunity for some sniper play to come out here. Both teams got, you got them capable. I'd say we've seen Nesh play quite a lot of it, especially yeah. back in Season 1 when he was back on Bazooka Puppies. 
we've seen the same sort of stuff come out of Only God before. I always remember his King's Row performances, for example, last season. The one thing I remember about Only God is his Bastion. Yeah, he just whips it out here. No, it's not even his main hero. He just always <laughs> he finds a way like to once. weave it in. No, yeah, but he left an impact. That's what counts. <laughs> yeah, I already got mate. It's really good to meet you. Yeah, we'd like to uh, think about bringing you into our. But uh, for some reason, we can't get this memory out of our head that you play Bastion they all watch, the time. They, they watch Contenders Europe broadcast. Seems to think you're a Bastion one trick. <laughs> <laughs> we can't hire you based on what Trinity said alone. So hopefully, we'll say some more nice please, things about please. him in this. No, 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 no. If you're watching, don't give me that power. Don't, don't listen to what I say. Well, hopefully, we get some more nice things to say about him in this match. No Absolutely. doubt. He is a very good player. Zarya going to be his character or the hero of choice that he's bringing to the fore. British Hurricane rolling out with. I think there's something very similar. Yofi will change back over. We will mm -hmm. see a more standard setup coming out of them. Nesh, who chooses to roll this Sombra, is very interesting because it was coined for a long time to be a very hard counter to goats. The only thing you missed in there, obviously, is going to be the exact thing that we're seeing Angry Tyson's roll out with. It's going to be looking towards that Zarya. I imagine Nesh was going to a scout. I did try to like do binoculars at you. He did scout, <laughs> and now he's gone back. He's going to go back onto the Zarya, so... We're going to have the Goats v Goats matchup coming in, and uh, only God's main hero this season, out of necessity of the meta, has been Zarya. He's very proficient with it, having a lot of success for Angry Titans. And they're on the defense first, coming on the aggressors of British Hurricane. And Number no Must have got a big flame strike there to already get 37 result charge. Oh, it's nice to have that fine turn already. They've got a knockdown as well. Caught catching out a couple. Down they go, and that's still going to be a bad hit. Already winning out this fight relatively decisively. It feels like lots of members falling down. In fact, more going back the other way. Look like more were falling down the other way, but Angry Titans have turned it back. And forth. It's so back and forth. It Chris. opened with an even trade. Both Zenyatas taking out the opposing Brigitas, and then it was left up in the air. It helps when I have games players, now. right? <laughs> and so when that happens, and you're going to end up with that head-to-head -head matchup, it did ultimately mm. go in favor of Angry Times. They're going to hold defensively. British Hurricane out to try it again. Which is bizarre because Hurricane were the ones playing super aggressively after that opening pick, thinking, oh, we got the knockdown. This is guaranteed our fight to yeah. win. And they still lost members and got picked on their aggressive path in. You forgot about A Fox, lads. You can't be doing that. He's taking out your Brigitte. And now no lock going down low, tested barrier. There's Yofi moving forward, trying to clear some space. Luddy just layering on the damage as well as the right hot onto Numlocks and another clean fight for Angry Titans. Well, what can you say? It's a pretty dominant performance so far. And we've had this discussion a lot, I think, in the build-up to this final week where we knew this was going to be the last game of the season. There's discussions around how we thought this would go, and Hurricane, you'd argue, have had a rockier path at this point so far. Angry Titans with the much stronger one, and bar that blip on the radar back in week two. Aside from that, they have looked like a monstrous team that many are coining and think will be the winners of this season. British Arcane about to get ults online. That does change the game on a fundamental basis. You're having the huge power of your core arsenal at your disposal. What can British Arcane do with it? Yofi already taking that wall stage. Does open the playing field up for them to start getting these combos in. Stunned. We'll find Apex on the backside, but they've kept too far away. Graviton Surge will pull a few of them back into the fight for British Arcane to clean up. They've now got control of this game. Point A going over to the London Spitfire Academy. At first glance, that didn't look like the most ideal shatter for them because it only caught out the uh, Zen. But that was the big objective, catch out the Zen, because immediately afterwards out came the Graviton Surge and the focus went down to the three courts in there. Because a Fox was knocked down despite having Trans, he couldn't get up and burn the Trans to keep them alive, so it was a nice easy one fight. And a Fox, I think quite smartly as well, didn't panic and press Q, thinking maybe I can save one person? He's actually saved it for the streets phase. Ultimately, if he would have used that ability then, it could have created a situation where British Hurricane could snowball, but now a fight can come out here. Transcend has been traded for Graham. It's Angry Titans with the control ultimate. Ellie Boat with the triple kill. That's going to kill the push for Hurricane, and it's going to stop this payload right outside their front door. Absolutely, and this is where we might see if they can set it up properly. Angry Titans find themselves with a very healthy hold. This is just like what you get on Dorado when you hold really, really deep towards their spawn. Because if you lose this fight, you are still able to get at least two more defenses in on the second stage. So it makes sense to not give them free ground and just go for the fight here as deep as you can and try and hold Hurricane back for as long as you can. Got a sound barrier and a shadow for Angry Titans. Yofi, of course, having the sound barrier for himself. He's going to be able to jump into this one. Lols is taking Numlock out of the sky. And it makes British Hurricane shift into retreat. They're not going to stay up here and risk giving up more ult shards, giving up more lives. And damn it, caught on the rebound and a D mech on Happy Cool. That's going to be huge. Will sacrifice the ult charge to get back in that mech earlier. Race rolling out. So now we're down to two minutes and 40 on the clock as well. So not. Yet in emergency territory for Hurricane, you might say. And still give it another minute and a half, potentially, until they have to start panicking and thinking about what they can do 
What I'd like to see them do here, potentially, this hold goes on for too much longer. Start building up towards that six hold point. You've got five online already. You can make a play now, and that play is on to Erky. Yeah, Erky's going to be the main focus there. And I'm watching that big old hammer, taking him out. They held up, though. Grabs on Surge, keeping it together. Lolsish now dropping down. Down in front of the only god, so the payload's going to get back in motion. And we spoke a lot about this over the course of the season. The team's having very aggressive defensive positions comparatively to where the opponent's objective is. They now have a lot of time for this payload to move, but it also gives them a lot of time to get another defense sort out. And not just a flimsy, scrappy one, a coordinated six-man version of it. Normally, it's Danid who's kind of regarded as the aggressive Brigitte that we've got here in Contenders, but when the, I think it's more on Erky there going a bit too deep. And Danid was like, well, if you're going to let me play aggressive, I'll play aggressive onto you. And they got the stun. Fire strike came through, the swings came through, everything was enough just to melt him down very quickly. And that five versus six was more than enough for them to win. Now I'm not sure to drop the earth shaft on the floor. Transcendence coming out from Bakken as well. Nash pulled the Graviton to get the rest of Angry Time together. Aphox using that Transcendence already as well. Will get dropped out. Molsish dropping to Nash. Nash finding another one as he takes out Erky as well. Pressing forward, there was a Diva in his face. So guess what's on the menu? It's going to be that mech. Taking that one out. Ellie Boat going down and running around for the world to see. Only God's going to join him very quickly. The Protector Barrier can only last so long. It's not much picking up the kill as Ganon goes in with a charge on Luddy. But it's Hurricane moving on to the final section of this map. Nice, clean, and easy. One minute to get an extra one minute and 30 here to push towards the very end. Up to two minutes and 30, and Alts. A bit quiet right now, but they're definitely starting to pull together Hurricane after a, a rocky start, you might say. Yeah. Did they get their first pair of course last the time? Absolutely, yeah. Now that's what it's all about. It's trying to walk into the rest of this series, but now they've been caught out in this combo. They're sending that bomb, skidding along the Beautiful. floor. Beautiful. Double kill for Happy Core. It's bloody and only got going down and pull up with a huge shadow from Numlocks. Just the slow layering of these ultimates for Hurricane has just paid them dividends. Angry Titans have no answer to that. Absolutely, and they've even managed to keep hold of the Transcendence on Bark as well, not even seriously threatened there. And Yofi's not too far away from the sound bar, so they have these defensive tools to push into this fight. So regardless of what Angry Titans throw at them here, they will have a response, but a lot of this fight will come down to the smart positioning coming out of the supports. They need to avoid that Earth Shadow coming out of Lulzish no time. Well, in no time at all. Loss is going to walk through. He's going to shatter through that payload, probably. We see a lot of Reinhardt doing it, but he's stunned up. Can't get it off. Pitch barrier is there to protect him while he does it. And Nomlox has to move forward. He wasn't affected by the shatter, so he can protect his team. Goes in with the charge to kill that pin. Or any option to it. But there's the Graviton surge from British Hurricane. Loss is by himself. The barriers only last so long. Happy call. Cool. But you don't want to sweep in and take that kill. Manage to look at Muddy off to the side. He might be able to get away with this one. He's going to be very far. Damn it. Being taken out by Aphox. Hurricane have entered the final section of this map. Just need to walk it in now. One minute ten on the time bank, but Angry Titans are starting to come back into this one. With a kill from Ellie Boat, Aphox taking out Nash as well. They're going to stop the payload right in their back door. That was Hurricane getting a bit too deep despite winning the initial fight as well with excellent ult usage. Jofi having to burn his to keep his team alive after the shadow, but that was it. They still held on to the trans, and I thought, well, this is a great time and a great situation where you want to use the trans aggressively. If you're going to go for that fight a bit deeper, use the trans, get in there, stall them out, get that payload further forward. But they choose to hold on to it. A couple of tanks fell down in the front line when they went a bit too deep. And they got punished, and now naturally Angry Titans have managed to reset. They've got that big combo online to watch out for the grab into the self destruct. Well, there's the grab coming out from Only God. Self destruct. Only God sending it into the back line. Damage by Danis. Point blank to stop that damage coming through for his team. Will he up his shield as Numlock charges through a box? He's alive to carry on this push with the rest of his team. Need to walk it in. Yofi getting that second kill onto Lolsish. Ellie Boat escapes, Erky taking out Danid. Spawn advantage is huge for Angry Titans, but the kills are coming in too fast. British Hurricane taking him off the map fast and can get back on the field. Can they hold to Gonna be walking this in as Aphox has to use that transcendence to stay alive, pushes him away. So close. British Hurricane managed to complete Hollywood. Are we going to have it most importantly though? Where is it? They've got about five, six seconds, I think it was. 6.8. They get another attempt if Angry Titans complete. That's what was really close to me. When I saw the trans come out, I thought maybe they can hold out yeah. here because you might see a Wrecking Ball come out. Maybe you throw a Diva back out there again and actually manage to touch point. But for Angry Titans, the spawn's just a little bit too slow. Don't manage to contest. But like you say, that at least guarantees Hurricane a second attempt now if Angry Titans compete in overtime. How much time that's going to be, we'll find out at the end of this round. And for Angry Titans there, well, Hurricane, it's going to be a bit wake-up time. Like we said, warm-up. First map was a bit crazy mm -hmm. and chaotic for them. Didn't really have too much coherency in fight. 
This time around, they're the ones being proactive and pushing into Angry Titans. And I speak a lot about these three levels that we see of GOATs in a sense. The level one being the, you know, kind of the scrappy stuff that we see from some of the lower teams. Level two, where you start getting the combos down together. And level three is when you can start playing really aggressively into the enemy team and forcing them to make mistakes whilst making none of your own. And there's only a few teams that really start to scratch at that level three level. Hurricane is starting to move towards it with plays like that in that last round. Got to remain level-headed, I guess. We jump into this one. Absolutely. And scratch, you know, like I said, scratching the surface of that third tier. I'm going to mix up the vocabulary a little bit, but has the same effect. It's all about the forced errors, taking control of the game and making your opponents make those mistakes. Because ultimately, when you break it down to it, Overwatch is a game of capitalizing on mistakes, especially when we're at this level of play where that difference and what determines the victory is just the consistency at which you perform. The most consistent teams are the ones you see successful, especially in Contenders Europe. Well, let's see how successful Hurricane can be with Sombra Doomfist. And then the Anna and the Zen, which I assume are going to play in Cafe and play a bit more long range. And they've got your dive tank. So a very standard staple defense, the sort of thing that we see on Hannah Mora. We saw it quite a few times today, actually. But Aphos, already gone. Yeah. That's big for Angry Titans. And damage going down as well. Support and damage threat being taken away from Hurricane. What started as an aspirational composition has just been pushed to the side. Angry Titans have got, got any time for your nonsense. Or oh, man. It seems to be the curse of Europe where this comp, this defensive comp we're seeing come out of Hurricane. It's the Hanamura comp! It's it, the Hanamura curse! It just cannot last. Ever since week three where we saw... I can't remember what teams it was, but they lost four times They're going to They're going to compete this one. Damn it. They won't be able to win this. Because okay. they're staggering back into point. They're just going to lose members one by one. Dan is gone. Numlot's gone. Diva's going yeah. to be next. They will just slowly fall apart here and get melted out. So, the numbers. All right, maybe you show about 15 seconds. It's not going to slow anything down. If nothing else, you've just given them a lot of ult charge ready for the second point as well, whilst gaining almost none for yourself. You're a glass half empty kind of guy. I'm a you? very pessimistic guy when it comes <laughs> to this. You're not wrong. I mean, to be fair, what, how would you describe that positively? They got 15 seconds, or they just gave a bunch of ults which might guarantee them the next fight and save them much more than 15 seconds on their attack. Watch them miss that one minute mark by 15 seconds. <laughs> Watch the 15 seconds actually matter now. Yeah, we'll see how the next fight goes when those ults come online. They will have them before British Hurricane come up, or at least for the most part. Nesh is very, very close to that EMP, and as we've all seen before, against a team that can't move very fast and is quite reliant on shields, especially the Zen and the Zarya, well, they get melted down very quickly. High ground being held. Extremely mobile composition. British Hurricane sticking with this composition. And Danid and nice. Nesh, picking up Lolsus and Aphox, shows that it's working for them. They're going to commit to it. Angry Titan's momentum has been put to bed. It's very deja vu from what we saw last time. Hurricane able to kill the push. And Nesh is going to linger around a little bit longer. Spot out with any changes or adaptation no, no, no. coming. He's waiting Titans. for that fatty EMP. I hope he's been caught out. So he's going to have to blink away and, well, try again afterwards. He misses his advantageous EMP position, but he can still use it. Diving off the high ground, which British Hurricane have absolute control over. There he goes now. He's off to the right-hand side. Here comes the EMP. And a nano. Go on. They actually get the nano over to Happy Cool then, I believe. He's just going to be jumping in and around uh, with those micro Is that mistake? EMP not used yet. Um, I think it was a mistake. They intended to hit the Winston instead. Quite frankly, but here comes the EMP, so the real combo begins. Self-destruct right on top of them as well, so they have to play around the terrain. Yofi, in the meantime, still going to find Lolsish and a D-Mech coming out, courtesy of Rocket. And Aphox, without that nano boost onto Numlock, he's just going to be killed on that one. Dan using the ult defensively, gets back to the high ground with the rest of his team. Taylor's still in motion, I believe that was a grab of oh, Forced inside the actual room to hold them together, but unable to get anyone out. Luddy was a god there as well. We saw Dana try and get a combo down on him, but Luddy turned around, booted him, and Aphox turned around, fired a few shots at him, and got a headshot yeah. to bring him down real quick. Real smart coordination between the two supports. That's the power. That's the power of the heads up, Lucio. Being able to play and have that defensive mindset. Go, hey, you're gonna dive onto me. Cool. I'm gonna protect my buddy over here. You're not gonna get anywhere near us. Protect himself. Kill your funniest part. He's sending to him out like, right, I'll kill him for you. Don't worry. Yep. No one well, touches my Zen. Only God doesn't have that luxury. Dan Ed gonna punch him into the spawn roof. As Lolsich will take out Nesh with that flame strike. The payload has been stopped just towards the end of point B. British Hurricane coming out with the consistent defense here, getting those multiple kills when they need them to shut down any aggression from Angry Titans. I'm pushing them all the way back here as well. So Angry Titans stalled for now with two and a half, well, two minutes 50 left on the clock, sorry. I'm pretty sure they're making this work, and I won't lie, I was concerned for the longest time that playing into GOATS at some point they would just come undone, and Angry Titans through sheer willpower would just push their way through, and of course, mechanical skill, not just willpower. But however, Angry Titans have actually been the first ones to concede and go, you know what, actually, this isn't really working for us. It's time to switch things up, 
They're going for that 6-0 dive, bringing the Moira to the party as well. We saw yesterday what she can do. She can get in the back line. She can zap her Zen to death. Quite useful. They successfully spy check Nesh. They're sending the self destruct from Ellie, but into the fight. Dan has already been taken out, so they're missing that punch. And he had the meteor strike for the aggression or the reposition. There Only got then takes out Numblock. This is actually trying to take him back to the map. They've had enough of the shenanigans coming out from British Hurricane. Danon might be able to get there in time to contest and force out overtime, buy some more time for his team to run at the spawn point, but they're changing all over to Ghost. They want to contest them now on what they think would be an advantageous composition. Can they get there in time? Though? Angry Titans needs to hold that left door as well as to get free no charge potentially it. through it. There's about two seconds remaining. Have they touched? Yes, they have. No one was holding that left door. Like you pointed out, there's they're able to get in. There's the EMP from Nesh. Shuts everything down for Lulz just to be taken out. They're going to win this fight and burn out even more of the time bank. They're jumping on top of Numlock here. They want to get that Wedding kill onto him. But the Nano Boost will keep him up. I think that's a bit of an overcommit from Bocket to keep him alive. But they're going to carry on trying to fight and clear off bodies off the point. If they don't translate this into kills and stagger, that is a wasted ultimate for British Hurricane. That's the second time in this round as well where Bocket has either got the wrong target or done it at the wrong time. And Numlock's almost about to go down as well. He's so low. He's about to get cleaned out anyway. Only God's going to finish him off with the help of that coalescence from Moira. Lolsage then takes out Bocket. The DMET comes in. Happy cool, removing some of the tank from the side of Angry Titans. But Dan is now going down low. He's got a Brigitte with a monkey in his face. There's not much he's going to be able to do because Erky is going to hit him with that mace and just knock him out. EMP coming in, only got with the D-Meg. Numlock will shut down Erky. Haptical clears out Lulzish. This isn't a dominant or decisive fight. It's very staggered. You've got to remember, spawn advantage, British Hurricane. They should come out on top of this. They keep this up. And Bocket fragging out is going to make sure that happens. Angry Titans punished themselves quite hard, I feel, actually, as well. Continuing that fight, even when they went down to a 2 versus 2 or a 2 versus 3, they were getting punished for it. But they continue to keep on throwing members in, losing members, giving more all charge over. And as you say, Hurricane with that spawn advantage, it plays into their favor massively. Now they're down 30 seconds, Angry Titans have got one fight. And what you're looking towards here is only go with that EMP. That's the big one you're looking for in this fight. If they get that off and there is no response from Hurricane, they win. They've got to kind of mouse it with the sound barrier from Yofi though. Too early, you shut down the usage too late, you're going to take it away from him. And I'm got it on my forward. That was the stun. EMP, self destruct over the top. They're trading both bombs. They're going to have to hide in terrain. They haven't got the shield. Yofi gets around the corner just in time. Puts him in a terrible position. Erky is then able to punish him for it. Bocket takes out A. Fox, they level the playing field. Damn it. Onto Erky as well. They're getting the kills in. They're going to be able to do this. I think British Hurricane have shut down Angry Titans. And I think they've done enough to win the map. Hurricane just like time for a warm up, boys. It's over now. It's onto the real deal. They have indeed cleaned them up. And nonetheless, as well, playing most of this map without even touching goats. It was all about so Doombra. Uh, Do I said Doombra. Doomfist Sombra. Doombra can like amalgamate it and shorten it down. Yeah, if you want to go that way, sure. Doomfist Sombra works too. But <laughs> Doombra. <laughs> Doombra. <laughs> That's a real cool matey name you want to have for him, sure. Yeah. But it was clean and pretty clinical for the most part. Yes, at times they got bowled over, but once they found their feet with that comp, second point was pretty much hell for Angry Titans. And yes, when they switched over, it started to work. But again, throwing bodies at that final fight was not the way to go, I thought, to try and win that one. Back off a little bit, save that EMP and go for the big play. They tried. It didn't work. Means you're going to the half one and one. Very reminiscent of the previous series as well, because I believe SMC had the exact same problem on Hollywood. They were just they throwing did. bodies at the solution. It wasn't enough. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to throw it over to our analysts, and they're going to take a quick break instead, because I messed up the order of the show. <laughs>